कौन से कौन से ऑफर मिले तुमको कंपनीज के थ्रू इट वॉज लाइक From several companies, uh, I'll not take a very uh, good name, but yeah, it was for 60 LPA, 45 LPA, and all those things. Mr. Ayush Singh. Yeah. How are you? Fine. Good. Big up. English or Hindi? Mein? Mix. Doesn't matter. Okay. Just talk. Speak your heart out. Okay. Tell me, what are you doing? You're 14 years old, and what all have you achieved? You are as a you're working as a machine learning engineer. या मशीन लर्निंग एम एल ऑप्स इंजीनियर एम एल ऑप्स हाँ एम एल ऑप्स फॉर्म क्या होता है मशीन लर्निंग ऑपरेशन देख रहे हो ये बताओ लाइक हाउ डू जर्नी स्टार्ट इट स्टार्टेड बिकॉज It's totally based on situation. Uh, it was not in my interest before onwards because I was not having any any interest in CS. Just was the situation that got me into this, and and later it it became my uh, interest, which I continue doing. So when you started, what was that motivation like? Why did you want to learn programming particularly? There are many skills, right? Video editing, content marketing, other things as well. Shit posting on Twitter. Why did you to choose uh, programming particularly? I wanted to choose the promising area, which I was seeing the the technical side or tech hub is something which 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 I see as a promising area. So that's why I thought let's go with that. I was not having so much I'd say uh, in uh, so much interest in video and editing at all. Mm-hmm. I tried it, but not having so much interest. Right. So. tried programming and it was my interest mm-hmm. so like what resources did you use and how did you learn to code exactly if you can tell that to the audience okay so the resources which i used uh was just some books which i which were so popular uh, for learning python i i just used uh durga sir videos which was quite enough i i read several books on the particular topics uh and and practice was one of one of the key which i which i uh, tried what was your first programming language python python yeah And how did it progress? Like, what did you do after learning Python? Okay, so uh, you cannot learn Python in just watching videos and all those things. What I did is there's a book Python for geeks. Then for writing better code, you have robust Python. You 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 also have a design patterns book because you you can write code, but what code ra- you write is just what matters for me. So how to write the code for all all, all of these things was in design patterns book. There's so there's several books on design patterns. Mm-hmm. So these are the three steps. intermediate uh, beginner level where where you learn python for geeks whatever the basic stuff and then you go to robust python how to write better python code and then to match with the software engineering level you have to just think about from design patterns what do your parents think about you at this age i was watching doriman and shinchan when i was in 9th or 10th grade you are 14 you started learning to code at age 13 what do your parents think about all of this that you are doing right now at such a young age um i think uh, they are of course they are proud uh, and and one thing which they say keep it up you can do much more better uh, they think they like wow, wow you're doing such a great thing right. but uh, at the same time they just say don't you kitne bhi upar ho ja zameen pair pe hi hone chahiye right. and uh, please continue what you're doing and never stop doing it even if you don't get results i uh, keep putting your inputs don't think about your outputs but that's really amazing You know, uh, how did you get opportunities? Because at a young age, you know, obviously companies would just say that you are underage or you are just a kid, right? So, what did you do that helped you get opportunities? And what type of opportunities did you actually get? Um, so, <clears throat> what I did is basically cold emailed uh, the companies, which I think, uh, for example, I let's take an example of uh, Zenimal. So. I I I got a LinkedIn post and I thought okay this is a new startup which can consider me at least What is Zenimal Zenimal is a ML ops f- f- framework which actually helps you to productionize your machine learning models mm-hmm. uh put machine learning in production that's what the framework is so I thought let's give it a try uh so I emailed the founder with all of my highlighting all the skills which I had the projects which I made m- that might interest them I also did some ML ops project prior, prior to that I prepared the basic stuff i was not having so much knowledge about ml ops but still i prepared a project before applying to it and then applied showcase okay i built this project and please see it and then they and then we got an interview then there was three three rounds in total the first initial then inter, then there was one more and then at last we have one more where uh, they they given me take home challenge which i completed then we have a interview at the last round which was technically a bit hard but yeah it, it i completed that and then we end so I this was for ML ops, but at the same time there was several other interviews as well, uh, like machine learning. Sorry, data science, data science at Artifact, where I tried it and it was like I got through a platform which is Slingshot. Um, 
where the inter where the where they interview me uh, on some of the topics. They also given me the take home challenge and then we were having uh, the interview and all those things after that. So it was two kind of things. So I think data science and machine learning is the roles which I got. got and got an interest in MLOP space. Why machine learning only and not doing anything else? I think the reason why I like uh, it because I, I think that I started off with the maths and, um, and math, math, mathematics was a quite interesting subject and then you can actually use that to build something or to predict something future, right? That was the, my initial thoughts in my mind. But when I grow, you actually can extract so much useful insights from the data and, and, and get inference a very, at very good level and actually can help businesses to take better decisions. It can tackle lots of tasks and make you life very easy. So that's why I thought, okay, machine learning is the... It's what I like. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought of dropping out of your school? You're in 10th grade, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I thought at, at a moment, but I think school is going at its own pace, which I can spin around, okay, I, at my own pace, I can actually manage all those things. So basically, uh, the way I used to manage is, say, for example, tomorrow is my school. So I, I just, I just, okay, I, I'll spend five hours in the school and in my school, I'll try to manage my technical studies, which I read the books and all those things. So what I did is take books in my school. Whenever I get the free time, I try to com complete that, even in the boring periods. Uh, so I try to complete that and then try to manage in that way. But yeah, this is this 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 is how workflow is. But yeah, I, I thought, but I I can't leave my friends. That's why. You like your friends a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, will you be doing college? How how does that work? What are your future goals? Yeah. So I do. Where do you see yourself five years only? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do think that I'll I'll be doing college because I want to experience the college. I don't know if I'm going to drop out, but mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just experience the college uh, at that level. And I want to, I am not going to study in India mostly uh, because I know that I, I can have IIT as a backup, but um, let's see where, if I prepare J for JE. Uh, but mostly my plan is for MIT or Stanford applying for that. In the IIT backup plan. <laughs> and MIT or Harvard is like the main thing that, like, mindset they go. <laughs> Amazing, bro. Awesome. Tell me one thing, what all offers have you received till now? And from which companies? Okay, so uh, <clears throat> starting from very scratch, I think uh, there was, I got reached out from Landing AI, which is an Andrew Nung company. I also reached out by Tredence. Uh, there is also a European comp, com there is so much of companies which I don't remember the name. I also got from Amazon. Um, then we have Artifact, Zenimal, I think eight to 10, yeah, something like that in the last one year. What keeps you going, bro? Like, why not just chill in life? You're like 14, right? Why not just chill? <laughs> it's Maybe, I, I am I'm proud of what you're doing, really amazing yeah. work, but like, I'm just asking a question that everyone would ask, right? Yeah. Why, uh, why I'm not chilling at this age, right? Uh, I don't know, like, if I'm chilling somewhere, then I'll be super bored, right? You can't, I can't just sit somewhere without my laptop or maybe phone. Uh, so I think if I keep doing my, my work and all those things, it keeps me at high energy. Uh, so balancing all the personal life and the professional life uh, is kind of which, I, which is balanced in my life and it all, always gives a good energy in me. That's why I think. Uh, How has learning to code helped you as a person? And do you think that uh, school students particularly should learn to code? There was a huge wave in 2020 of startups trying to help kids learn to code. Uh, what is your outlook on this? I do think yeah, it ought, it's it for sure helps uh, in in logical thinking or critical thinking in whatever thinking you way. Uh, but I think uh, pe what I see uh, if any kids are interested in lear interested in learning coding, they should definitely. Uh, I have seen so many people uh, saying that kids should not learn to code. They should focus on other hobbies like music and all those things. And I do ask that person uh, if you're playing guitar by sitting right and you do coding by sitting. And, they, and by playing guitar, you also have several skills. And by coding, you also have several skills which might help you in future. And I see jobs in finance and IT hub in future. So that's why I think kids should definitely, but they should not be forced for it. They should at least... Uh, if they de develop any passion or whatever interest, if their interest lies in this, just like in music and all those things, I do definitely think they should, definitely. What pro projects are you working on right now and how do you manage it? Okay, so basically I'm, 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 it's, an, it's a two startup which I'm working on. So currently we have Anton, which is an edtech platform which leverages AI and ML and AR experience to bring that in education. So you'll be having your AI teaching assistant, a full dashboard, a feedback giver, and actually we are launching like 
a, a degrees kind of thing. So you can actually complete that degree and you'll be ready for a job, a specializations kind of thing, just like uh, other, other platforms have. Um, so we are, we are actually going to launch that and we are going to unify, un, uh, make it unique kind of thing by adding AI experience. So we believe in visual learning. So we are going to add augmented reality. And who is V when you say? Uh, what? Who is V in this case? V. Like, okay. Yeah, okay. So and uh, at Anton, I think we have we are a uh, three core members. So Ayush, Emily, and Tushar, uh, and Priyanshu, who is AR VR dev dev developer, and then we have Tushar from Full Stack Web Development. Mm -hmm. So we are the three, but we have other team members like employees who are working on with us, like uh, Mohit and all those things who are working on marketing and all those things. So uh, at Anton, we are doing that. We are trying to achieve something which is usually hard for, for, for example machine learning which is usually hard which should be which can be explained better way by visual understanding right that's why we are launching AR and we have also seen that people um, people might need so much of help while doing the core and all those things because we believe in practice so what we are doing is you can actually have a uh, we have a teaching assistant of every subject so for machine learning, we have an assistant which can which will be sitting over there, and then you can ask any questions to relate any topics. You can actually take it is a codex integration, so you can actually take any help which you want in code and all those things, which will help you and all those things. So this is this is what the AI feature which we built up. We also have a feedback analyzer, so whatever you did, it will actually give you a good feedbacks at the end of every week and how you can improve and all. Uh, so this is an Anton which is at good stage. We also have a schema which uh, which I started off uh, which is a, a platform for content creators like you and like me as well uh, so it's it, and by content creators so it actually gives you a platform where you can connect several sources say for example your market up discord server slack channel and all those things you can actually connect to your youtube channel as well and then it will connect all of these things and make an informative reports and dashboard and actually you can ask any questions to it say for example your video so it will ask okay how's my video is performing and what is the comp competitive lands landscape and all those things it will give you okay Okay, this video is performing this in the comments what are the most popular comments and it will summarize the comment space what are the feedbacks there's a separate channel channel for feedbacks yeah so this is what the in, in brief it's it's doing schema other projects there is iris which i'm planning to go in then iris and isf uh, which is a, i think hackathon kind of thing for teenagers uh, and doing side projects like coding and all those things and how do you manage your um, I, I decide my day prior to uh, prior to going and like say tomorrow, which which I plan which I plan maybe today night. So before going to bed, I plan the plan the whole our day. But in that way, I also don't do. It. I plan the whole week prior, and then if I do to any any changes in that, I do changes. But on Notion, I plan the whole week mm -hmm. uh, prior to uh, like on Sunday, I plan the next whole next seven days. Right. Every day, yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome, bro. To the audience that's watching this video, what would you like to say to them? I think anyone can do it. So just if a if a fourteen year old can do, then of course you can. I already back up. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, bro. Thank you so much for joining me here. I wish you all the very best for your future and whatever startups that you're working on. Good luck. Keep working hard and love you.